Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. So today is our anniversary and Howard and I are out to eat. For our starting appetizer, we got some lemon pepper wings with ranch, celery, celery sticks, and carrot sticks. All right, so our main entree has arrived. It is a Detroit style pizza, has all sorts of stuff on there, including mushrooms, onions, Canadian bacon, and uh, we don't know what else is on there. But anyway, doesn't it look so good? All right, so we will see you guys next time. So for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and this is a marinade that I used for them. I've already thrown the jar away, but it's a hot and spicy um, um, a marinade for chicken and pork, and I got this from the Asian grocery store. It's very good. Here is the chicken, and then I also made some fried rice. This is the Kikkoman brand and it is really quick and easy. You just sprinkle it on top of your cooked rice. And I also made some green beans. So here are the green beans I added. They're frozen. And I added in some bacon and onions and some seasoning. And then here is the chicken. And then here is the fried rice. I just added in some green onions and a little bit of sesame oil. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so today is the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everyone. And Howard grilled some ribs for us. So here they are. They look so good. Serving it with some corn on the cob and some doctored up bo box macaroni and cheese. This is what I used. I just prepared it according to package directions. Added in a half a cup of sour cream and then an entire block of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And I baked it for about 25 minutes. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this Tex-Mex queso with brisket. It's 1240, so it's a little bit pricey, but it is pretty good. We normally eat off of it twice. HEB is a grocery store here in Texas. All you do is add half a cup of milk, pop it in the oven at 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then at the latter half of this in, uh, being in the oven, I like to add in or uh, put some tortilla chips in there as well. So they're nice and warm and they taste like they came straight from a Mexican restaurant. So I'll show you what this looks like when it comes out of the oven. Okay, so here is the queso. I just took it out of the oven. It is so good. And here are the chips that I warmed up in the oven. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so Howard and I are out eating at a Chinese restaurant and Howard got some soup dumplings and then I got some hot and sour soup. We're still waiting for, for our main course and I'll be back to show you what we picked out. Okay, so our entrees just arrived. Howard got the Singapore vermicelli and then I got the Mongolian beef and it comes with rice and um, an egg roll so this is uh, gonna be our dinner too usually when we eat big meals like this we eat a really light dinner crackers cheese peanut butter something like that so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time